and that's something that's I guess probably one of the key differences between, like you said, I guess the the sacred or the sacred or the ancient medicine that has been used for thousands and thousands of years. You know, and this this predates obviously Western medicine. Like I said, by thousands of years, tens of there, thousands, tens of thousands yeah. of years, um, and you know, said so I think it's we, it's unfortunate that we live in a society at the moment which places such high emphasis on modern or traditional medicine, which which it's not a bad thing, you know. And, and as I've heard in other podcasts, if you go and have a car crash or you break a leg for for hectic anything that's major type of trauma incidences, um, it's it's fine. You, you you need that type of medicine, but for a lot of the you know the longer term systemic sort of chronic. Um, illnesses, you know, we still really have no idea how to treat them. And what's interesting, and what I'm seeing more and more of, is 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 a turn backwards to have a look at, hey, what were our ancestors doing? And I think one of the most interesting things that you mentioned before is about all of this traditional and sacred medicine looks at the body holistically from a mind, body, spirit perspective, which typically, you know, like it's it's a, the mind and the spirit, which is something that modern medicine leaves out. 